Hey everybody, welcome back to the Jersey Zone. Yesterday, the 2023 Heritage Classic jerseys were officially revealed, and I am very excited to talk about them. I didn't have time to make a video yesterday. I was at work and everything like that, and the entire time I was at work, I was like, I really want to make this video. I just cannot wait to talk about these things. I think both the Flames and the Oilers have very fun jerseys here. I think they're just awesome. So before we do jump into it, if you guys are new to the channel and you like hockey jersey content, please make sure to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. All right, let's take a look. Okay, we're going to start off with the Flames here because I think the last video that I talked about the Heritage Classic I started with Edmonton so just make it a little bit more fair I guess so with the Flames I actually like this jersey quite a bit a lot more than I was really initially expecting to be honest because usually I'm not a huge fan of just two-tone jerseys or two color jerseys even though there's a little bit of yellow you know in the logo and in the numbers as well it's basically just a cream and a red jersey and even though I do really like cream a lot I feel like you know just two colors doesn't really do a whole lot for me but I actually like it here a decent amount I like how far down the shoulder yoke comes. I think that is nice. The striping is pretty neat as well. My main complaint I would say with this Flames jersey is the logo itself. It's something that I talked about when we were looking at the leaks uh, a couple of weeks back I think it was. But yeah, I am not a huge fan of this logo and of course I know that it comes from the Calgary Stampeders. You know, they were a team in the WHL from like the 50s to the 70s or something like that. So that is what this logo is based on. However, I'm just not really a huge fan of it. I don't like the circular logos with the team name inside of it. I've never been a massive fan. However, there is something special with this logo that we'll get to in a second, but let's just go through a couple more pictures. So this is just another one, you know, just another shot of Kadra here. Looks pretty nice. We'll go on. We can kind of see with this picture here, the numbers have some detail inside of it. I don't know if it represents anything and I just don't know, or if it's just kind of random, but either way, I like the way that it looks. The next photo here is the close-up of the logo and we can see here with this logo, it is actually chain stitch, which vastly improves this logo for me. You know, it has that felt and chain stitching, which is two things that I really do like in a logo. So you can see the chain stitching on the white outline, the Calgary and the Flames text, and also the yellow parts inside of the Flaming Sea. So yeah, I think that is very, very nice. I'm sure that this logo looks fantastic in person. I really do like that a lot. We can take a look at the back of the jersey here. This, of course, is just from the team store. There wasn't really any high quality photos of the back that the Flames released themselves. So this one here, you know, of course, you can see that the jersey is actually a Fanatics. However, if we zoom into the numbers, you can see that it does still have the same kind of pattern like it did on the sleeves, but this time it is outlined in yellow instead of the white. So I do like that. There is just a little bit of yellow in this jersey, you know, inside of the logo and the back of the numbers. However, I still think I would have liked a little more yellow on this jersey. I think that is my main issue because I do usually like more than two colors in a jersey, but honestly, I like this one a lot more than I initially expected. I mean, I knew I was going to like the off-white being the main color because I always love that, but I was very much worried with the logo itself. The fact that it has the chain stitching and the felt carries it so much though like if it didn't have those two things I would hate this logo I would not like it but it has them so obviously I have to give them points there overall pretty nice looking jersey from the Flames okay so now we're on to the Oilers here and this one is definitely a lot more interesting I would say than the Flames one like the Flames I saw some people kind of call it boring and that is completely fair I don't think you can call this one boring it is something else so of course they are throwing back to the Edmonton Mercuries we've talked about them a couple of times team that represented Canada at the 1950 52 Olympics. I believe it was the 1952, 1950 something, but I really like this jersey a lot. I think it's a ton of fun. However, I do want to start off with a negative and that is the placement of the C. It is way too high up. I don't know why they put it there. It's not like there isn't room underneath it. Like you could definitely fit the C in there. And also it's not like this is how it was on the Mercury jerseys back in the day either. The letters did slightly bleed into the shoulder yoke on that jersey, but it was only the white part. It definitely wasn't as high up as it is right here. But now that it's this high up, I almost wish it was just a little bit higher because if we take a look at the next picture here, you can almost see that that white stripe almost fits perfectly in the negative space of the C and I wish that it did. So I, I really don't like the C. I really am not a huge fan of the C on this jersey. That is definitely my main complaint. Like I even enjoyed the numbers on the front of the jersey, which is a huge surprise to me because I hate numbers on the front of the jerseys. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I don't like them on almost any jersey like the Buffalo jerseys back in the day, like the Vancouver Canucks reverse retro 2.0 jersey. I didn't like it then when it was on the Dallas and the Thrashers and the Islanders jerseys when it just had the word mark and then the number. I hate those. Like those are my least favorite jerseys ever in the National Hockey League. I think they are by far the worst jerseys. So I usually don't like numbers on the front of jerseys, but here 
I actually like it quite a bit, and it's very, very shocking to me. I really did not think that I would. I just think it looks so nice, and if we take a look at the jersey without the numbers, it feels bland, and I don't know if that's just because of the fact that I saw the jersey with the numbers first, so maybe that kind of plays a factor into that, but yeah, I think just without the numbers here, the logo looks so empty inside. There's like nothing really going on, so I definitely like this jersey customized, and I think this is one of the jerseys that you really do need to get customized just to have those numbers inside of the logo there. Here we have a better picture of the crest, and you can see that it is felt like it is on that Flames jersey, so I obviously love that. Our next photo is just a close-up image of the numbers on the sleeves there, and you can see also felt, which I also very much enjoy. Our next picture, though, that is the interesting one, because if we look at it here, take a look at the sleeves. There's no numbers on there. However, we just looked at a picture with numbers on the sleeves. So that means that this jersey only has numbers on the left side of the jersey, which is super interesting. That's how it was on the Edmonton Mercury's jersey back in the day as well. Now, do I like that? Not really. I usually like when my jerseys are symmetrical, so I don't like the fact that it's only on the one side. However, it's kind of another reason why I don't like front numbers is because at that point, then you just have so many numbers on your jerseys that it kind of feels a little bit redundant. Like you have numbers on the front, numbers on both sleeves, and then numbers on the back. It's super unnecessary. But like I said, I do like the front numbers on this jersey, so I do kind of wish that they had numbers on both sides. The only thing that sort of helps it out is the fact that the Heritage Classic patch, I almost said Winter Classic, the Heritage Classic patch is on the right shoulder. Shoulder, so I do think that helps kind of balance it out a little bit more and I do really like this Heritage Classic patch by the way you know obviously it has that oil rig which fits the Oilers but it does also fit Calgary as well just because they're both in Alberta and oil and everything like that so I think that is very very nice uh, the back of the jersey here we can see just the numbers you know stitched on looks quite well uh, and then inside the back of the collar here we do have Battle of Alberta which I actually think is pretty cool you know I find that usually most of the time they have just the game's date in the back of the collar like with the Winter Classics and all of that. They usually just have the date of the game. So the fact that it says Battle of Alberta, I think that is pretty unique. It's a lot of fun as well. I know the Flames jersey also does have this on the back of the collar. I just couldn't really find a good picture of it. But yeah, I think that is a lot of fun. The last thing that I want to talk about with the Edmonton Oilers is their uniform. So they are actually wearing brown gloves and brown pants, which is something that I talked about recently with the Jets revealing their RCAF uniforms because they are also wearing brown gloves. Now, I didn't like it with the Jets. I do like it here with the Oilers though. And I think there could be a couple of factors for that. The first reason being, I think the colors just work a little bit better with the brown on this jersey. You know, it has that cream color to it, so it does have that vintage feel, which leads me into my second reason, and that is, I feel like the Oilers jersey just feels more like a vintage jersey, feels more like a throwback jersey than the Winnipeg Jets jersey does. Now, the reason I could be feeling this is because I was actually familiar with the Edmonton Mercury's before these Oilers jerseys were released with the RCAF Flyers, which that Jets jersey is kind of throwing back to. I wasn't familiar with them, so that could be a reason why, you know, I actually feel the way that I do. But either way, I don't like the brown gloves with the Jets jersey. I do really like the brown gloves and brown pants with this Oilers jersey. All right, so which jersey do I like more? Well, I want to look at your guys' answers first. I put up a poll on my channel earlier today asking you guys this question. It got 132 votes. 55% of you said the Edmonton Oilers one was better. 45 said the Calgary Flames. So pretty close. But for myself personally, I do think the Oilers one is just a little bit better. I still really like both jerseys. I think they're a ton of fun. You know, obviously both jerseys have some flaws and some things that I would like to change, but overall, I really like both jerseys, but the Edmonton one is just a little bit better in my eyes. I like the logo. I like the numbers on the front, uh, which is a weird thing for me. Like I said, you know, the fact that I do like the numbers on the front of the jersey is really special. Like it's something different. It's something that it really should not happen. And at the same time, I really shouldn't like that Calgary Flames logo, but I kind of do because of the felt and the chain stitching. So both teams did a pretty good job at making me like things that I usually don't like with their logos. So yeah, overall, I would say two thumbs up. I really like both of these jerseys here, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'd love to know what your guys' opinions are on both of these jerseys. If you guys ended up liking this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Follow all of my social medias in the description down below as well. But yeah, that's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.